So since we have cleaned up our data by, by deduping and by removing uh, those rows which have, uh, by deduping and removing those rows which have empty fields or empty columns, we got a data set which is about 16K, right? So I'm just loading this data as, 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 as usual, as you have seen multiple times. We have stored this uh, 16K apparel data in the previous section and we are reloading it here. Now in this section, we'll understand about some text preprocessing operations. The first text preprocessing operation is called stop word removal. It is called stop word removal. So in English or in natural language processing, this is this is a this is a preprocessing text preprocessing stage in natural language processing, right? This is done this is done for almost all English uh, for all for all English text processing. So stop words are those words like uh, like words like if words like uh, for words like the of etc these are words which occur a lot in english and they are not very informative in our case so imagine if you take a title okay Let, let's actually take a title and see what happens if you remove a few stop words so okay 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 so let's let's take this let's take this title right in this off is one of the off has no value here. If you tell me the word off, it makes no sense. If you tell me university, it has. So let's just take each word individually, not sentences, right? Off has no meaning. University, yes. This product is related to some university. Women is also okay because this says that this product is related to women, right? Utah, yes. It's related to the state of Utah. Sleeve, yes. It's talking something about the sleeve. So all these words are useful except for stop words. So whenever we have a sentence like this, removing stop words will help us get rid of those words which are not adding much value. Again, this is, this is, there are some natural language processing techniques where we don't remove them. There are some techniques where we remove them. The techniques that we employ as part of this workshop, uh, stop words are not useful and we have to remove them. It's not necessary that we always have to remove stop words. Remember, stop word removal is important only for some types of algorithms, the types of algorithms that we will use. There are some types of algorithms where stop word removal is actually bad. Okay, we are not using such algorithms in this workshop. Okay, now how do you get all the stop words? Right? So so we have we have up we have we have read our data, our 16k apparel data into the into the variable data. Now if you want to download your uh, if you want to use stop words in English you have to download a set of stop words and there is a library called NLTK which stands for Natural Language Toolkit which is a very very popular toolkit for text processing which is a super popular text processing toolkit or mod or uh, package in Python okay so now how do we do it and remember you have to run this downloading of stop words only once if you run it once it's stored on your desktop or laptop and you can reuse it every time and to do that, the first step is you have to go to terminal if you're on Linux or Mac or go to command prompt in Windows. How do you do command prompt on Windows? You type the Windows button plus R and then you run CMD. That opens your command prompt. So once you go to your command prompt, you'll have to type these three commands. Okay, Python 3 launches Python and then you import NLTK and then you say NLTK.download. Let me show you running these commands on my terminal. So right now I'm using a Mac and on Mac, this is how it looks. Okay. So let me take you step by step. Okay. So first I open the terminal and I run Python 3. It runs Python 3. It gives me this command prompt. Here I run import NLTK and NLTK.download. Okay. These are the three lines I run on my terminal. Rest of them don't worry. I just have to run this. I have to run this. I have to run this. As soon as I run this, this, uh, uh, as soon as I say NLTK.download, it opens up, it opens up this interface for me. Okay. In on this interface, you have to go to corpora. This, these are tabs actually. Okay. You have to go to the corpora tab and you have to now uh, slide down. Okay. You have to drag it down and then you'll find a library called, sorry, or, or, or a data corpus called stop words. Okay. So what you do is you have to just select stop words and you say download. Okay, you select stop words and download. In my case, I've already installed stop words. That's why it's highlighted in green. In your case, you'll have to click on stop words and then click download. It'll take a couple of minutes to download. And once you're done downloading, you, you can just simply close this, 
you can just simply close this and be done with it okay so now i have my command prompt here if you notice my command prompt i just have to say exit now when i say exit i go out of my i go out of my python okay it's a very simple few lines of code right so once i'm done with my code i'll come back here and remember you have to just do it only once you don't have to do it multiple times you just have to do it only once okay this is very important just run it only once open your command prompt type python 3 then at the command prompt you basically say command prompt is like this you just say import nltk nltk dot download which opens the user interface that i showed you just select stop words and download just do it once it stores it in a location and you have the stop words in english right once you have your stop words now you can remove stop words very easily okay so i can i can load all the stop words like this i can say set stop words dot words equals to english all of that is stored in a list called stop underscore words right and i can print this list of stop words here now if you look at the stop words this is the list of stop words in english right such uh, and hers up she d most in etc all these are stop words in english okay which we can remove uh, at least for our for our algorithms that we're going to employ in this workshop okay now once since we've seen a list of stop words we are defining a function here we are defining a function called nlp preprocessing nlp stands for natural language processing okay so let's look at so for each title for each title that we get we're going to do a couple of simple operations okay first we are going to remove all special characters special characters are like hash dollar ampersand exclamation all this okay so we can easily remove all special characters very very easily uh, using using this one line literally using this one line okay so now uh, after you remove them you are, we are going to convert each of the words into lower case okay this is basically stop word uh, this is basically special character removal we are going to convert everything into small characters because we don't want to distinguish between uh, let's say let's say uh, zago which is a brand and zago we want to treat both of them to be the same okay some people may enter with capital z or some people with small z okay let me write it this way okay so whether it's any of them we are converting everything into lower case right and then we are saying if something is a stop word remove the stop word that's what we are doing in this nlp preprocessing we are removing special characters we are converting all words to lower case all characters to lower case and we are removing stop words that's what we are doing in this function we have not yet called this function so what we'll do now is we have just defined that function now what we'll do is we'll call this function here okay what i'm doing here is for every title, for every title, I'm going to do my NLP preprocessing. Now, you might notice these two lines, this line and this line, right? This line and this line. These two lines are very useful whenever you want to track how much time it has taken for some code to run. All you have to say is you have to just declare a variable called start underscore time and time dot clock. It will start the timer. And while this whole thing executes, the timer is running. At the end of it, you have to just say time dot clock minus start time in seconds so to run this this snippet of code it took 3.57 seconds so wherever you want to understand how much time some code is running you can use these two lines right these two lines simply help you understand how much time it has taken code to run uh, whatever code is there in between these two lines it will measure how much time it has taken it, it has taken us to run now once once we have once we have removed stop words uh, what we'll do is let's just see how the data looks like if i just say data.head I get my titles and you'll notice that there are no stop words anymore. Now at the end of this, I'm going to, as usual, as, 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 as you might have already understood right now, every time at the end of every stage, we store our data. Uh, we, store our da we store the key variables like data in this case into pickle files. And this pickle file is called 16K apparel data pre-processed because we've removed stop words here. Okay. Um, there, there are other types of pre-processing that we'll learn about next video that we do not perform in this.